Right, good morning. Welcome back to the Laddingford Diaries. This is part 12 and we're on another Fenlands adventure. Me, Rob and Darren. We left home early this morning, about 6 o'clock. Um, stopped off on the way up here at a trucker's calf. Had a nice, great big breakfast. We've got a bucket full of live bait, a bag full of dead bait. And we've come back to Nordelf where we've done the second day. We was up here the last time. So I think we spend the day up here today. We're booked back into the Lamb and Flag tonight, so get back in there in front of the log fire. Have a nice dinner in there tonight, and then um, we've had a little drive around this morning actually. Tried to been to three holes, had a look at that. Uh, the 16 foot drain, I think we went and had a look at. So we've been and had a look at a few waters. So um, we're up here for two nights, so we've got three days fishing. Uh, bit chilly. I um, wouldn't say it's cold, just the wind's a bit chilly, but. That's a good thing about where we are at Nordelf, you sit, sit down in a bank and you're like away from the wind, so not too bad at all. Anyway, I've got three rods out, Rob's got three rods out, Darren's got two rods and he's got the whip out trying to catch some more live bait. So we've just got the kettle on, we're having a cup of coffee and we'll come back to you, ooh, oh no, that's a twig, come back to you shortly with an update, what's happening, what we're doing and what goes on. And this of course we have any action, so... See you all soon. Take care, everyone. Right, watcha, back again. Um, it's coming up to one o'clock. Rob's got a few beeps going on in his right hand rod. At the minute. Right, we're up at Nordelf. Now we're going to walk down here because I think Rob might be in on his right hand rod. Looks like we're in a bit of action already. We've only been here for about half an hour. Yeah, we're in. Oh, it's off. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Yeah. You see it on the surface. You see it? Yeah. Is any good? Good fish. Well, these have had a bit of action. We've only been here about half hour. Is that yours? Well, oh. Rods. No, it is. Oh. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, this is where we're fishing. We're back in all Delft. Rob had one uh, rod out underneath the... Um, fish, underneath the bridge with a dead bait by the looks of it. <laughs> so, uh, we've got action straight away. Darren's fishing just to the left here. He's got two out there on uh, float rigs. Rod's got a, Rob's got a couple of rods out there on Pat and Oster rigs. And I've got one rod on a bottom bait, dead bait, uh, one rod on, on a live bait, Pat and Oster rig, and one on a float rod, a suspended dive bait. <laughs> so this is Nordelf. This is where we was last time, if you remember, when we come up here. Oop. We thought this was going to be our best bet for a fish. And uh, Rob's had action already, so that's good. Right, yeah, we've only been up here about half hour, so we've been having a scout about this morning, so looking at different places, seeing what we can uh, go with over the next couple of days. We've got, we've got a big bucket of live bait, a big bag of dead bait, so we've got all the options covered. What was that on, Rob? It was on a half a macro, half a herring. Herring, you've only got two left now, haven't you? I've got one head, <laughs> one whole one. Is that your right foot on the move? But luckily enough, I caught all the live bait today, so we're uh, okay. Yeah, well, I think we need to discuss the live bait about how we're sharing our live bait out. Uh, Darren's been uh, got the whip out. He's getting a few nice perch here this morning. So, uh, yeah, it's looking good. Looking confident to fish here today. Need to uh, get get Rob Ooh, some sharp hooks. On, Another one's on the go, by the sound of it. It's all happening thick and fast here at the minute. Right, so anyway, yeah, as you can see, it's all go at the minute. Hopefully one of us have a fish soon, so we come back with you some action, let you know what's happening. Um, we're right by the road again, at Nordelf, as you can see. 
So it's a bit noisy, a bit windy, so the wind ain't making too much noise on here. We'll come back to you shortly. We'll come back to you shortly if we have any action or a bit of an update. See you all later. Rob's just lost a fish, he's chucked that straight out and what, within three minutes he's gone again, so he's back here, he's into a fish now, that's a good fish as well. That looks a good fish. That's worth weighing, isn't it? That's a decent one, isn't it? That's a couple, this one. That one's bigger than that. Need a bigger boat. Well, well that's literally been out there, what, three minutes, Rob? Huh? Three minutes, that's if been out there. <laughs> that's doing 50p to let go of it. Yeah. We'll give Rob a pound for the biggest fish, and I'll give you two quid to let it go. We got a mat. Yeah, go up by the car, eh? Oh. God, I just fell over. Well, if you the, uh... Yeah, we're getting a bit steamed up here. So the first pike of the well, the second pike of the day, but the first one we got on the bank. Fucking hell. Got little ones in that box to the right of you. It was on that episode and you were second hand herring tail, wasn't it? I've, I've you're, gonna be you're gonna be operating on this to get I've it back. I've got one left. <laughs> <coughs> nice bit of netting there, Dale. Good fishing, mate. Look after me, mates. How much are you having, Rob? It's got a touch of double, hasn't it? Do you want to weigh it? Yeah, I'll weigh it just for just to see. Have you, you got scales and you? Do you want me to grab mine? I'll do something like that. You'll handle you, Rob. Yeah, Rob just nicked that out of Darren's swim. So <laughs> <laughs> if I can put this back in that net there. We just weigh it in the net and weigh the net afterwards, yeah. I just want to be careful with that treble, that's all. And the other one. Good condition, nice one. Lovely, nice looking fish, yeah, long fish, big head. It's the biggest one we've had out, out of here, isn't it? Yeah, so far. So far, yeah. Right. Better take a picture and text it to Dave, give him the ump. <laughs> I'm wrong, yeah. Turning it out the other way, then. Check it down. It's, 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 
Fifteen nine, we're gonna to have to wait in there in a minute. Eleven four. It's probably got to be fourteen pounds, isn't it, at least? Well done Rob. Thank we you all much. owe you a squid. I'll go put it in your squid. <laughs> no. First fish, biggest fish. Most fish. That's six six pounds. Well, chuffed with that, I'll tell you. Well done, mate. Yeah, nice fish. Good start to, well, to the uh, week. We're going to have a three days of this yet, mate. Yeah. Now, these were only cheapos for slinging in my bag, but I've tested them. They are yeah. pretty much... Wait in there, Dal. The huh? Wait a bit for the first predator. Well, you owe me one for the first prod. <laughs> the perch is not predator. Yeah, well, they're not predators. It's about one and a half pound off for the neck. So 14 pounds, wouldn't it? 14 pounds. Yeah, well done. You know 14 I mean? pounds. Well done, Rob. Good no, start to the, to the adventure. No, it's it 15 eight, wouldn't it? It was 16 pounds, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, so 14, 14 and a half pound. Yeah. 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 All right. You might want that half pound when I catch my one and you give me a quid. Thank you guys for your Well done. Well, that's Trebles a good start of the session. Rob. Literally, that's the one that Rob already lost a fist on earlier, which we, we reckon, me and Darren reckon was a bigger fish than that, we see it surface. And uh, threw it back out, and literally three minutes, less, less than three minutes, screened off, proper run. So, uh, well done Rob, first pike of the session. Just have to try and catch him up now, as we know, you won't so shut up all the way home, we'll have to get a bus home. <laughs> About an hour, actually, yeah, yeah, we've only been fishing up here about 45 minutes an hour. As I say, we had a bit of a drive around this morning, checking a few places out, but it's going to be like this. Might end up here for three days. <laughs> right, come back to you shortly when I have a fish or a bit of an update. Is See you, you got, soon. You've got an app on his phone. That's oh, yeah, there's a phone, phone call. Hello, Predator News. <laughs> <laughs> All right, watch her back again. Uh, she's gone about half one, I think, something like that. Rob's just had another fish. Uh, I did record it, but I think I pressed the record button, so just in case it's anything what's happened. Uh, probably about seven, eight pounds um, on a uh, pattern Oster rig with a rope fly bait on it. So two nil to Rob so far. Darren lost a fish about 20 minutes, half hour ago. So lots of pike in the area, apart from where I'm fishing. I've changed over, I've moved the, um, my rod that was out on a sardine, I brought that in, put on a herring tail and moved it right along to the left of me, um, up under a tree over there, so we see how that goes. And my suspended live bait one, I've, um, what did I do with that? Oh yeah, I've taken the ropes off here, I've put a big, big, quite a big perch on it, so see if that brings any action. And the uh, pattern off the rod, I've... Um, Still got a roach live bait on there and just brought it in a little bit closer so see what happens anyway so pick in a bit of action so that's good things are happening so we'll come back to you shortly with any action or an update see you all soon all right watch well, back again uh just coming up to half past three we no action to report nothing up been happening gone quite dead this afternoon um I haven't even seen any fish jumping about or anything. Anyway, I've had a move. I've moved round to the other side of the bridge where Dave was fishing last week, last time we was up here. Uh, mainly to get out of the wind. The wind's up a bit. It's quite chilly round and now. It's beginning to feel a bit cold. So I've moved round here, warm right up once you're out of that wind. So that's good. Anyway, so this is where I'm fishing now. I've got one float out there at the end of the boat. That's on um, a suspended live bait at the minute. I've got another rod out there at the end of the boat, a pattern off the rod with a live boat bait roach on it. Then I've got the dead bait right down there on the ledge of dead bait, just by those bushes. So uh, looking a good spot for some fish. So we see how it goes. Look at this house over here, eh? How do you like living that? Boat outside on your garden, nice garden, come out and have a fish. And again, these houses over here, right opposite the bank. Oh, it must be great to live up here. Anyway, so uh, Rob's just bringing us a cup of coffee. 
So we're going to have a cup of coffee, get warmed up again and uh, hopefully get back to you in a minute when we've had some action or a bit of an update. See you in a bit. Watch out, back again. Right, it's uh, just gone quarter past four. Starting to get a bit overcast now, so I thought we'd better do a summary of the day uh, before it gets too dark. Um, been a good day, I'd enjoyed my day's fishing. Uh, ain't, ain't had nothing, but still enjoyed it. Rob's had two pike, a 14 pound, and one about seven, eight pound, I believe. Darren's not had any pipe, he's been uh, persevering with a whip all day, had some nice perch. So, um, yeah, we'll be packing up in the next half hour or so. We've got most of the stuff packed away, all we've got to do is put our rods away. Then we're off to the lamb and flag to uh, get in front of the old log fire, get warmed up, have a nice cup of hot chocolate or something, and then uh, sort out something for dinner tonight. So, uh, basically, this is the end of day one of our little Fenland adventure. Not sure where we're going to go tomorrow yet. I think we might start off on the... Um, the river where we was last time by the pub and see how we get on there because we see quite a few pike topping there this morning um, on the Bedford, that's it, the Bedford and then uh, might move on from there, we're not sure yet we'll have a talk about that tonight or over breakfast in the morning so um, anyway, so that's the end of day one we'll see you back in the morning um, have a good night everybody, see ya Morning, welcome back to the Laddenford Diaries, day two of our uh, Fenland adventure. Um, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, we've been having a drive around for an hour or so this morning, trying to find somewhere that we fancy fishing. And we've ended up, I'm not sure, it's just past uh, where we was yesterday, fishing where the uh, middle drain, or the old Bedford, crosses the middle drain. We've plumped for it up here because it's like we've got some wide banks, we can park near where we're fishing. It's a wet, horrible morning, a bit drizzly bit of a chill so we can get our uh, brollies up here get out of the wind anyway Rob's just been into a fish already that's why I got the camera out uh, we lost it at a bank only a little jack pike so it's looking promising up here anyway so um, we're gonna have a cup of we just got set up we're just gonna have a cup of coffee warm our hands up a bit probably have a fag and then um, I'll come back to you in a minute with a bit of an update or if we have any action see you soon Morning everyone, welcome back to the Landford Diaries, we're still on our Fenland adventure and uh, this is day three. Um, didn't do much filming yesterday because we were just stuck under the brolly all day, it was a really overcast, raining all day, really uh, not a nice day at all. Not cold but just wet and horrible. But, um, uh, what did we do yesterday? We started off fishing, where did we go first of all? I can't remember where we went, I can't remember the name. Oh, we were fishing by this little bridge um, on the middle drain somewhere. <coughs> nice little place, couple of swims there. Uh, looked, looked really pikey, but nothing up there in the morning. It was right next to a pumping station, and that was pumping water into there. So it looked a good place, but we had nothing in the morning. Then in the afternoon, we went back to the, um, the, the Bedford where we uh, stayed in by the pub and done a couple of hours on there. See loads of pike topping out chasing the fish. I just think there's too many prey fish there. I mean that's the problem we had the first day we was up here last on our last trip. So not a very productive day. No fish for anybody yesterday. Anyway we've got a big bucket of live bait. Still got a few dead baits left and we're up on the 16 foot drain. Uh, I'm not sure of the area. We're fishing by a little bridge. Looks really pikey. Uh, the bailiff's come around this morning taking our day ticket money. And he said there was a fella fishing here yesterday, had a few fish out. Um, can't remember what size. And the fella the other day had 12 fish out, but the biggest was about eight pounds. But he says the bigger fish do come out up this end by this bridge. So uh, hopefully we'll have something today. We've been here about half hour. We had a drive around this morning again, tried a few different spots that we fancied. But um, the trouble is the banks are so high on most of these uh, fens and the drains. And it's just so slippery. How we never ended up in... Uh, we never ended up in the water yesterday. Hang on, we got some action by the looks of it. Okay. <coughs> right, so I'm just walking up towards Rob. He's, he's in already. This is where we're fishing. A 16 foot drain, so cool because it used to be 16 foot deep, but it's not that deep now. Pardon me, sorry, had me breakfast this morning. 
So Rob's on the first fish of the day. <coughs> As you see we're about the banks, they're really like deep, but once you're down the bottom it's alright. Rob's done us up like a kipper again and got the best swim. <laughs> what was that on Rob? Right. Have they? Right. Under the bridge? Well, there's quite a lot of tow on it. So yeah. It was on the far side, but it swung around. Right, okay. And uh, it got so tight into this side here, that I thought it went off before. I thought I'd really didn't recast, so it's lucky, really. But I did. Okay. So we're on bridge number 21 near Chatteris. As you can see, we're right by the side of the road again, by a main junction. That road goes up and down the market the way to Cattery. Uh, it's a bit windy, so hopefully you ain't getting too much wind noise. <coughs> right, we just saw this ball. We just sort this fish out, so I'll come back to you in a minute. Uh, let you see the fish, and let you know what's happening. See you in a bit. So here we go, first fish of the day. Hold it up, Rob. Let's get you in there. So that's a promising start. We literally, you had only had a rod out about half hour, I suppose. Time we walked around this morning. Lovely condition again. Yeah, right? lovely, nice fish. They do big heads on them up here as well. The size of his mouth as well. Lovely, right, get him back. So, first fish of the day to Rob. I think we owe him about four quid now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, looking promising up here. So, uh, we're back, to hopefully, be back to you shortly with a bit of an update or when we have some action. See you soon. Right, watch well, out back again. Um, it's about 20 minutes after Rob had that first fish of the day. Just had a cup of coffee and a fag to celebrate. Oh, it's bitterly cold today. I mean, it's not cold. It's just a real heavy wind chill. So uh, we've got. I'm sitting under my brolly, as you can see, keeping the wind off me back. Not too bad under here. So uh, just trying to warm my hands back up again. So just rebaited a rod and put it out. Anyway, I'm fishing three rods today. All of them on Paternoster rigs. Um, I've got one slightly different. I've got like like an helicopter rig really. Instead of the lead coming off on the Paternoster boom, I've got the bait off of it. So just give that a try. I'm going to fish that one along the margins and close in, keep moving that rod about all day. The other two rods got sunken pattern oster rigs, they're out over the far margins, all with uh, dead, sorry, live bait roach on at the minute. Um, right, getting back to the, where we started, you say, yeah, not a very good day yesterday. Um, well, we had a good evening in the pub last night, there's a few fellas up here uh, duck shooting, it's the last day of the duck shooting season today, so they've been up here three or four days half a dozen really nice fellas having a good old chat with them they all fish as well all pike fish so they give us a few ideas places to try up here um, and we met a fella that originally comes from Beckingham who lives up here now lived up here for 11 years he's one of the bailiffs on the uh, river Bedford so he, I mean he told us a couple of places to try this morning we've been had a look at them but the banks are really really high they're about I don't know 14 foot high and it's just so slippery, there's no steps or anything down to the swims, although there were swims cut out along there, we just didn't fancy it, didn't fancy ending up in the water, so we plumped for this place because we see it yesterday, the banks ain't too bad, um, we can park up right next to it, we've got to say, a bit of room to put our brollies up, so we're quite comfortable. We was going to fish here this morning and head off to Ponders Bridge this afternoon, but after speaking to the bailiff and one of the locals up here, Seems this is a good spot, quite a few fish come out here and a lot of the bigger fish come out up here so and a few Xander as well along this stretch so we've decided to stiff it out for the day up here. There, oh god excuse me I keep burping, I had a big, oh, I didn't have a big breakfast, egg on toast this morning. Nice meal in the club again last night, curry night last night, so we had a nice curry. Uh, tucked up in bed 9 o'clock, watch Silent Witness, so uh, good evening. Anyway, um, yeah we're going to stiff it out here today. They are forecasting some really strong winds and heavy rain and all sorts of madness again this afternoon about four o'clock. So we'll keep an eye on that. Gonna um, 
go for all my gear today while I'm sitting here, have a bit of a clean up, a bit of a tidy up, get everything ready to pack away tonight and we'll be heading off back home tonight. So um, anyway, I'm going to sit and drink my coffee, have another fag, I'm going to come back to you shortly with a bit of an update or if we have any action. See you all soon. Right, watch her back again. Uh, she's coming out at 12 o'clock. No action to report for any of us at the minute. Um, the winds are starting to get up a bit now. Jeez, it's a cold day today. Me, trying to keep your hands and your feet warm. My feet are alright. I've got a couple of pairs of socks on and my boots. Um, just your hands and uh, I think sitting about. But you get out in that wind, it's even colder, so I don't know what the secret is. Anyway, Rob's uh, just about to get the kettle on, make us an out of coffee, so that should warm us up. Um, as I say, the winds are really getting up now. There's like a little light aircraft that's been circling round and round. Looks like he's doing some um, practice takeoff and landings by the looks of it. But he's getting blown all over the place. I wouldn't fancy being up in that today. Uh, the body's just about hanging strong. Um, ain't taken off yet, but I don't think it's that much more. I don't think it's going to be long anyway. So uh, we'll see what happens. No fish yet, as I say. Darren's just set up his uh, spinning rod, he's having a go at spinning, I don't know how he gets on with that. I've been moving my baits about this morning, different places, um, you know, leave them out 20 minutes, 25 minutes, just drag them in a metre or so, just try and twitch them about, see if we can get any action. I mean, the, 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 it's running through quite fast here, it's quite a bit of a flow, so I don't know if that's good or bad for pike fishing. The, the fellow we spoke to this morning seemed to think it's quite good because he says it makes the, the, the um, pike swim a bit harder against the flow and everything and makes them hungry, so I <laughs> don't know, I've never heard that before, we'll see. Anyway, uh, as I say, just trying to keep warm at the minute. Um, we'll come back to you in a minute or shortly if we have any action or a bit of an update. So, see you all soon. Well, Jeff, back again. Uh, just walking along the bank, I think Rob's into another fish. Let's have a look, see what's happening. Proper windy, so we ain't picking up too much wind noise on the microphone. Yeah, we're in again. Um, Rob. Is that on the bottom dead bait again, Rob? Yep. On, the, uh... on your airing. I hope you ain't nicked your airing while you're in trouble. <laughs> That's my last off. <laughs> back anyway. Need a bigger boat. <laughs> well done Darren. Well done Dal. Well done Rob. How long have they been out there long, Rob, is it? Uh, the yeah, half hour or so, isn't it? Oh, 
All right, I'll do that, mate, for us. Shall we weigh it? I'm going to weigh him, yeah, might as well. I reckon it's a double, isn't it? Maybe a bit more. Let's take get your air in, get your air in. <laughs> <coughs> Where's your scales? Right, it's a bit windy, so we're just going to sort the scales out. We'll come back to you when we weigh him and uh, see where he goes. Right, we've got the scales. What's it go, Rob? Just over 16. Uh, 14 and a half again, yeah. Not one hit. Good night, mate. They're in dead bait. They've been out about half an hour. It's probably windy now, geez, it's so cold to go through. I'll just get them all mapped out and off him in the umbrella then when I earn a beep. Well done, mate. Happy day. So, fish number two to Rob. Me and Darren still nothing. We have got a crappy swim, you know, it's all the story. Uh, well, I've done that shortly with a bit of an update or if we have any more action. Alright, well, you're back again. So, it's coming up to half past one. Just slipped that fish back that Rob had, 14 and a half pounds on alleged uh, erring. Um, I'd already changed my rods over about, <coughs> sorry, about 15 minutes ago, so I've got. I've taken the Paternoster rigs off. <coughs> oh God, sorry, it's a bloody wind. Right. So uh, oh yeah, I'm fishing on the bottom now. I've got two rods on edged dead baits, one on a herring tail, one on a sardine. <coughs> and I've still got one rod on um, a Paternoster with a live bait on it, fishing close into the margins. I keep bringing that rod in, swapping it about different places to see what we can do with that. So uh, Gonna sit you out for a bit now on the dead baits, maybe for 40 minutes or so, then bring them in and move them. Uh, just keep trying different spots. Um, oh, it's so cold, I tell you. I was just dozing off under my umbrella, then all wrapped up, wall, hands in your pockets, and then I heard Rob, I thought he was gonna go in a minute, I think. Oh, a couple of jet fighters coming over, and the old. Uh, the wind's really getting up now, so I think the storm's definitely moving in, so uh, we'll have to see how we get on with that. Anyway, we'll come back to you shortly with a bit of an update, or if we have any action. See you all soon. Well, as you can see, Rob's just putting another fish back. Literally, when Rod went off five. Whee! Oh, Rob's in. You all right? Probably five minutes, seven minutes after we had that other fish, so uh, that was on a live bait under the bridge. Um, so it seems to be kicking into action at the minute, so hopefully that's a good sign of things to come. It's just gone half one, so we've got a couple of hours left still. Depending on this bloody storm coming in. It's so windy, so cold, uh, just all our hands are freezing. I've just sat and made some rods up and uh, some rigs up, changed over to dead bait. About half an hour or so ago, my hands still ain't warmed up. Still having fun. Right, so uh, we're gonna, I'll come back to you shortly if we have any action or a bit of an update. See you soon. I'm gonna get back a bit probably out of the wind. Right, watch her back again. It's just coming up to what? Quarter past two. Uh, the winds have died down a little bit. It's getting a bit blustery rather than constant winds. 
but it started raining about 10 15 minutes ago uh, just a light drizzle but it's sort of getting heavier and heavier so i think the storm's definitely moving in um, no action after those last two fish that rob had uh, i don't know what me and darren are doing wrong we've had a sniff all since we've been up here for three days so um, i don't know i've tried everything perhaps i should go back to basic and start again i don't know but uh, it's been a good trip so far we've had a good you know, a nice pub to stay in, met some nice people in there the last couple of nights, nice food. We've had a good scout round the last couple of days as well, we spent a lot of time... <laughs> Sorry for that, that's so, why we spent a lot of time driving about, having a look at different waters, speaking to some of the locals. Um, so, you know, if we come back again we've got more of an idea. Definitely come back to where we are today, this looks really good, I like it up here. And I really like Nordell, they're my two favourite bits so far. Um, so we're just sitting out, see what happens with this weather, see if we've got fish, just recast all three of mine again in different spots, still got two on dead baits, one on um, the Paternoster live bait, um, but it's uh, getting towards the end of the trip now by the looks of it, so we'll see what the weather does, come back to you shortly with a, uh, if you have any action or a bit of an update, see you all soon. Watcher, back again. It's uh, just coming up to about half three. Uh, this storm's definitely kicking in now. Jeez, uh, it's so cold, I'm beginning to start shivering now, so I think it's time to probably start packing away and uh, making a move. Speak to the others in a minute, see what they think, but um, I've definitely had enough for today. And uh, I don't think it's going to get any better, it's only going to get worse. Anyway, it's been a good three days. Uh, Rob's had a few fish, me and Darren had nothing. Um, so, mate, I still enjoyed it, had a good time in the pub, met some nice people, good food, uh, we, we scattered around, found lots of different places, found out a lot more information this time while we've been up here. So, um, if we come back again before the end of the season, we'll have a bit more idea where we're going straight away, so we can get fishing early in the morning. Um, so that's basically it, so we'll be off on our way shortly. Um, I don't know what we've got planned for next week yet, see what the weather brings, but uh, it'll probably be out in the bank somewhere, so uh, look out for the next instalment of the Laddingford Diaries. See you all soon, take care everybody.